Hi kids! Welcome to Teacher Beth Class TV! English Today, we're going to discuss about interpreting graphs and tables. In this lesson, you will be able to interpret graph and table. Are you ready? Look at the pictures. Which is graph and which is table? Let's check your answer. This is a graph. And this is a table. Graph and table. What makes them similar and different? Graphs and tables. They are visual representations. They are used to organize information to show patterns and relationships. Graphs A graph shows this information by representing it as a shape. Tables A table is a set of facts or figures that displayed in a systematic way. Graph presents facts which allow you to compare things more easily. Graph shows this information by representing it as a shape. There are different types of graphs. Types of graphs Line graph It is a type of graph or chart used to show information that changes over time. It uses dots for easy reading. Bar graph It is a type of graph or chart that compares information through the use of horizontal or vertical bars. Pie graph It is a special chart that uses pie slices to show relative sizes of data. Pictograph. It is the representation of data using images or symbols. Once again, these are the types of graphs. Line graph. Bar graph. Pie graph and pictograph. Table is a set of facts or figures that displayed in a systematic way. Examples of table. Study the pictures. What do the graph and the table tell?
In the first graph, the sales went up in 2021. And in the second graph, the ratings of a news program went down. How to interpret graphs and tables? To interpret a graph, chart, or table, you should read the title of the graph or table. The title tells what information is being displayed. Look at the key and read the labels. Then, study the graph or table to understand what it shows. Refer to the graphs to answer the questions. Teacher Bet's Store The graph shows the number of products sold on Friday at Teacher Bet's Store. Use the graph to answer the questions. These are the products sold at Teacher Bet's Store. Shampoo, soap, canned goods, and noodles. How many shampoo were sold? The correct answer is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 shampoos. Which sold the most? The correct answer is noodles. How many soap and noodles were sold in all? The correct answer is 16. 7 soap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus 9 noodles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine is equal to sixteen. How many more soap than canned goods were sold? The correct answer is 4, 7 soap, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven less three ten goods. One, two, three is equal to four. The data table shows how many eggs teacher Beth's hands laid during each month. Use the data table to answer the question. Teacher Beth's eggs hatch for the month of April, 18 eggs hatch, May, 25 eggs hatch. For the month of June, 28 eggs hatch. And for the month of July, 16 eggs hatch. During which month were the most eggs hatch? The correct answer is in the month of June. During which month were the least number of eggs hatched? The correct answer is in the month of July. How many more eggs were hatched in June than in April? The answer is 10 eggs. in May and July all together. The answer is 41 eggs hatch. How many eggs hatch in all? The correct answer is 87. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.